Okay, this is a video on the percent of a number, tax tip and discount. Starting off with the beginning of your notes, uh, we wanna talk about how to find the percent of a number in general. So when you find 18% of 60, you can directly put this into Desmos and I'm gonna show you how to do that. When you put this into Desmos, you can type in 18%. When I type in 18% of automatically pops up and then I'm gonna plug in 60, 18% of 60, and that gives me 10.8. Now this is just in general, 18% of 60 is 10.8. We're not talking about money yet. This is just an answer. In these next few examples, what is 95% of 300? I'm gonna plug that in, 95% of already pops up, 300, which gives me 285. The next one, 7% whoops, of 52, which comes up as 3.64. Moving on using the same idea, we're gonna apply that idea to find tax tip and discount. First one says $75 pair of Ugg boots with 5% sales tax. What is the amount of tax and what is the total price paid? So when you're buying anything, you do need to pay not only for the item, but you're also paying for the sales tax. So in this case, you're paying $75 for the boots, but then you also have to pay a 5% sales tax. That sales tax is based on the price of the item you're buying. So the first question you have to answer is what is 5% of 75 to figure out how much you're paying for sales tax. So when I put that into Desmos, I put in 5% of 75. Now this is where your money amounts are gonna be important. This one does not need rounded because it goes to two decimal places. 3.75 is our answer. So $3.75 is the amount that we're paying for tax. So that's the first question that it asks you. The next question says, what's the total price paid? Well, you're paying $75 for the boots plus $3.75 for the tax. When we add those two things together, we get $78.75, that's the total. So these are the two things that you need to understand today, how to find tax and how to find the total. The tax is the percent of the number, the total is when you add the amount for the item plus the tax amount, and this is your total cost that you would ask to pay at the register. The next one is on tip. So you went to Manhattan Pizza, you paid for all of your food of $65.13, but you wanna leave a tip. So with a tip, you're paying for your food and you're paying for the service of them bringing the food to you. So there's two things that you need to find. First, they tell you how much money you're spending on the food. You have to figure out how much the tip was and how much you paid total with the tip. Very similar idea of what we just did with tax. First thing we need to figure out is how much of a tip we're gonna leave. An average tip is 20%. You can leave a little bit less or a little bit more depending on service. Of course, if the service wasn't as good or if the food was cold or something like that, you can leave a little bit less of a tip. If the service was really good, you wanna leave a little bit more tip. In this case, we're leaving 22% of the total amount that you're spending on the food. Again, we're putting that into Desmos. So 22% of $65.13. Now in this case, we do need to round this to the second decimal place because it's money. So the eight tells you to round the two up, which gives you $14.33. It is important that you round properly because in our money system, we have tenths of a dollar, we have hundredths of a dollar, we do not have thousands of a dollar. So this is how much you're spending on the tip. That answers the first question. The next question says, what's the total you paid with the tip? Well, you spent $65.13 on the food plus $14.33 on the tip. So the amount of money that you're pulling out of your pocket is $79.46 total. This answers the first question, this answers the second question. Again, it's a very similar idea of what we did the first one, we're adding things together. With a discount, similar idea, a little bit different. You're buying a $55 set of headphones for 15% off. What's the amount of discount? What's the total amount you'll pay? Well, the discount is how you save money. We need to figure out how much money you're going to save by doing 15% of 55. Again, going back to Desmos, we're gonna do 15% of 55, which gives me $8.25.
This first step, 15% of 55, this is how much we are saving. This is the amount of the discount. So if you're saving money, you're gonna subtract it. You're spending less money. The original cost was 55. We're subtracting that amount of savings. You're taking it off the cost. When you subtract that out, you end up with $46.75, which is the amount you pay. Again, subtracting, which is different than the other two examples we did. The next one, we have a combination of both ideas. So Joey brought a Riverside hoodie for $35. He got a discount of 10% or 20%, and then he had to pay tax. So what's the total amount he paid for the hoodie? So he had the hoodie, he saved money by using the discount, and then he also has to pay the tax. So the first thing we're gonna do is figure out how much his discount is. If you put 20% of 35 into Desmos, you would get seven as your answer. This is how much you are saving. So $35 is the original minus the $7 savings, which gives you $28 as the sale price. The next thing we need to do is figure out how much tax he's paying. So we're gonna do 5.5% of $28. We're paying sales tax only on the amount we're spending. We're never gonna spend it on the original. So 5.5% of 28 gives me $1.54. That's the amount of tax. My last step is gonna be adding how much I spent on the hoodie plus the amount of tax, so 28 plus $1.54 will give me $29.54 in total. Okay, moving on to the back side. The back side is co combining a lot of different things, but you do have to understand the steps involved. So the first one, let's do the first one together. Um, at the top, it tells you that this is Sam Sports Palace. Everything's on sale, the amount of the discount sale price and sales tax and total cost for each item. You use a sales tax of 5%. They're saying the baseball hat, which is the one we're gonna do in this first column, is $49 and it's 25% off. So we're gonna go through each of these steps as a, a column. The original price is $49. The first thing we need to figure out is how much we're saving. So 25% of 49, if you plug that into Desmos, you would get $12.25. That's the amount of discount. So to find the sale price, we're gonna take our baseball hat, which is $49, and subtract the discount of that baseball hat, which gives me $36.75. That's only for the baseball hat. Now we're gonna take 5% of that cost to figure out how much sales tax we're gonna find, we're gonna pay. 5% of $36.75 on Desmos gives me $1.84. My total cost, I'm paying this much, for the ba baseball hat, this much for the tax, we're adding those two things together. And your total would be $38.59. Let's do one more example together, and then I'm gonna have you do these two on your own, and I'll show you answers. So the first thing we need to figure out is the discount. Up here, it tells us that the ba basketball is 20% off. So 20% of that total gives me $2.19. To find my sale price, I take my original price, subtract my discount, and that gives me a sale price of $8.76. I need to find how much sales tax I'm spending on that $8.76. So 5% of $8.76 gives me 44 cents. So $0.44. My total cost is the sale price plus that tax, which gives me a total of $9.20. Pause the video for just a minute and I'd like you to try the baseball glove and the sneakers and I'm gonna come back on in about 30 seconds here and give you the answers. But pause the video so you have a chance to do these two problems on your own.
Okay, let's look at those answers to the last two columns. A baseball glove, when you did 10% of 4450, you're saving $4.45. The original price minus the discount gives you $40.05 as a sale price. The sales tax is based on the sale price. So 5% of $40.05 is $2. Then you're gonna add the sale price and the sales tax to get your total cost of $42.05. Sneakers, we took the original price, half of 80, which is something you might be able to do in your head or just divide by two. The sale or the amount of discount is $40. Original minus the discount gives you a sale price of 40. 5% of that sale price gives you $2 for a sale or for sales tax. Your last step is to add your sale price plus your sales tax, which gives you a total of $42.